Hello again, my name is Jeff. I'm a sort of restorer and welcome to part six of our restoration. This is little Jenny Chow. She's my assistant and director and always getting in the way. And as you know, we're restoring a 1972 Mobilet X7. Well, today we'll be concentrating on the rear wheel and the brakes. As of the front, we've still got a, I've got a brand new tyre. And I won't be showing you the taking off of the uh, the tyres, as you can see that in an earlier episode. Now, the first problem we're going to have is this freewheel sprocket. I've got a brand new one here, but getting that off is an absolute nightmare. So it's going to need uh, grinding out. I have had this problem before. I've tried getting it off uh, the normal way, but uh, it will not move. And then if you look at the brakes, the brake shoes are pretty much, well they have, they've worn down to the metal. So that's going to be replaced as well. And there we go, some new brake shoes. As I say, I did try and get this off the proper way. Uh, it didn't work. It, uh, it's never worked for me before. So I'm just going to use the Dremel. I did use a an angle grinder, a larger one, just to get started. But uh, after a while, we eventually cut through, and there's the outer ring of the sprocket. We now got ball bearings everywhere, which is quite normal. And now taking the inner part of the uh, the sprocket off. That was just using the Dremel again, just cutting in one stage at a time, and trying not to damage the the hub of the wheel. So there we go, just banging that. Well, eventually trying to bang that bit off that's the rest of the inner ring and then once that's done uh, we can it's actually loosened it all off now so there we go there's the rest of the sprocket off just now trying the new one just making sure it does fit uh, which it does lovely Now I was going to try and take the bearings out um, like I did on the front because they were stiff. This, these ones are okay, but this is just trying to move this little circular clip. It's a bit of a nightmare just using the dentistry tools. But uh, in the end, I decided to leave this and go in from the other side and uh, push the uh, axle out from the other side. That uh, didn't want to move, but eventually uh, it did, and we've now got the axle out of the spindle. Okay, as you can see here, I have tried to get these bearings out. It's not like the uh, pulley shaft that uh, had plastic on it. These are metal. So what I've done, I've just mask that up so to try and not get any um, aluminium oxide into the the bearing parts and now I'll just uh, I didn't show you the um, the wheel being done but this is the little adjusters for the rear wheel um, and eventually I did do the wheel itself which just takes so long but uh, just showing you this is just the adjusters that go uh, to adjust the chain tension now we're turning our attention to the brakes these are clipped into this I'm actually holding the brake lever down which gets pulled by the cable and that turns a little cam in there which uh, allows me eventually to try and prise the brake shoes out there we go it's just starting to come out now and there they are as you can see completely worn down
the actual black, black back plate will be painted in black. So this is now masked up again. And the little adjusters at the back, I've actually put in some ACF 50. Uh, I'm going to leave them as they are, but that will keep the, the rust off of them. I baked it in the oven again for about 15 minutes. The bearings are okay again. And uh, just getting ready now to powder coat. So once again, the, the actual break, breaking areas is masked off as well. So we're going to use the electrostatic magic nickel silver again. I'd also like to take this opportunity whilst I'm doing this just to thank all my subscribers and all your comments and if anyone would like to subscribe it would be uh, much appreciated. So there we go, it's into the oven now, about 15 minutes again, that's 180 degrees. And there we go, after baking, it's, oh, I'm very happy with it, it's come out very well. That's also sanded down, this is the back plate for the brakes. Now, this is where I came to a little bit of a problem, this is the old brake shoes which clip in at one end and go onto this cam and then there's the lever when you pull the brake cable and that opens up the brake shoes onto the drum but the problem I had is the new ones getting ready to measure them up for size which is okay but until you get to the cam bit where well, that's just a little bit too wide to fit in there so that needed a little bit of uh, amending so I'm just using the grinding wheel now just to take off a little bit each side And as you can see, I've put the tile on again. As I didn't show that again. Uh, but you see, I've just managed to scrape the the, uh, the rim slightly. It's not too bad. It's uh, always something happens. But uh, I did show you the tiles going on on the previous video. And there we go. There's the back plate now for the brakes, uh, powder coated as well. Just put in some grease in now. I also washed out the bearings just in case there was any grit in there from the powder coating. So I'm now we put in some grease into the axle. And then re grease the spindle. There's a small problem just lining this up from the other side where the bearings are, but uh, after a little bit of persuasion, it finally went through. There we go, that's back in now. Now we can actually put on the the sprocket to the freewheel sprocket. As you can see that tightens up the waist. When you pedal the chain that tightens up even more. So you don't have to go overboard with it. And then when you want to take it off in a few years time it's corroded in and then that's where you have your chief difficulties again. Now I've managed to sand that down now. There's the I managed to get the springs back in. It was a hell of a job trying to prise it in, but uh, I did get there and there we go now that's working with the springs fitted so there we go now that's just about it the 
little lug on there has fitted it into the uh, into that little hole. There's the adjusters which have just been left in ACF 50, and that's about it for today. I'm sorry Jenny wasn't in here much. She's uh, thrown a tantrum, wants gourmet food now, and walked off a set. But hopefully she'll be back next week. Please take care out there. Thank you so much for watching. Goodbye for now.